Hello friends, welcome, welcome, welcome to this webinar. It is great to have you all to this webinar. I am thankful you have spared your valuable time from your busy schedule to be with us this evening. I hope you will have the best of your time here and I will spare no stone unturned to make you realize that this time is one of the best in your life. You will gain a tremendous quantity of knowledge here and if you will adopt it in your life, your life will be changed for the better for all times to come. I assure you that this knowledge will be unique and you will not get it from anywhere easily. You please keep your notebooks ready to write down your notes. And if you have any question, I will answer those at the end of the session. You please note them down. It would be 30, 40 minute session and you please stay up to the end. Let's start with the session. Our topic for the day is your mindset. Your mindset is everything. They say if you conceive, believe and you can achieve. And they say you are not what you think. You are what you think. What does it mean? It means you are not what you think of yourself. You are what you think in your mind. What is your thinking? What is your imagination? That is your mindset. That is you. So, I am Dr. Jagadji Singh Virk presenting to you this webinar and attitude. You are only limited by weakness of attention and poverty of imagination. Neville Goddard. Neville Goddard says, you are only limited by weakness of attention. You don't, th you don't focus. You don't concentrate. And poverty of imagination, you also don't think. When we don't think, we remain in our past. And if we don't think the same results we get, which we previously have, there is no improvement in our results. There is no new result. And we always blame our circumstances only. But the problem is that we don't think. Until and unless we change our thinking, we can't have new results, better results. The law of vibration, Abraham Lincoln says, to believe in the things you can see and touch is no belief at all. What are those things which you can see? The present circumstances, the present results. To believe in those is no belief at all. But to believe in the unseen is a triumph and a blessing. What are the unseen? Your dreams, your goals, your imagination. All these are unseen. You have not seen them. But you believe in them and they become the reality. This were, this, these words were said by Abraham Lincoln. Those who tell the story rule the planet. Plato says like that. Your thought energy is in the non-physical spiritual world. You tap it with your intellect and build ideas and these are expressed in physical world and produce results. Attitude is our position or bearing as indicating action, feeling or mood. It is expressed both your mind and body. Mind is moving. And in every cell of your body, it's vibration, it's frequency. Your free will lies in the conscious mind. You can accept or reject any idea. 
no person or circumstances can cause you to think about thoughts or ideas that you do not choose that's important thoughts you choose determine your results in life what are results to develop a good attitude towards the world in general each of us must first develop a good attitude toward himself we can't give to others something we don't have first of all we must have good attitude toward ourselves we must have our self image and only then we can give it to others action sets up an equal and opposite reaction and as we express the attitude the world reacts to us and the action as it sets up the action alters our conditions our circumstances our environment and it all up we call it their results our senses pick up external vibrations and help you correspond and communicate with your material world our problem is 97% of the population use them the wrong way we focus on present results that is our drawback because we always think of our present results in our mind those are in our mind those are our thinking and that those thinking will give us the same paradigm which we previously have and that gives us the same results and those results are never changed that is with the 97 percent of the population results are nothing but the physical manifestation of past attitudes or pa of past images that we got emotionally involved with that control the vibration which set up the action which in turn set up a reaction and produce the results now if we are going to let results flow into our consciousness we are going to keep getting the same things it is a self-controlled doomed fulfilling cycle this vicious cycle is attained because we have the results those results we always think of those results those become again our thoughts and those thoughts become our paradigm and those paradigm give us the same vibration and the same vibration give the same results and this is a vicious cycle and that goes on and on and on they let their bank account control their thinking about their finances because now they always try to think about their bank account present bank account in their mind suppose they have got ten thousand in their bank account passbook they will think about ten thousand that ten thousand will be there in their mind that will be a thinking and that will become an idea and that idea will give you give it a feeling and emotions and that emotion will become the um, paradigm and that paradigm give the um, vibration to the body and that body give the uh, action of 10,000 and give the result of 10,000. If you want to have the better results, you must have your thinking on a higher level. Now, suppose you think of one lakh in your thinking of your bank account. Now, when you think of one lakh, your idea will become one lakh. That idea will give the feeling of one lakh emotions attached. And that paradigm will one lakh. That paradigm will vibrate on one lakh. And that one lakh will give the action of one lakh. And that result will be one lakh. This is the change of thought which gives you the better results. So it is up to you whether you want to change your results or you don't want to change your results. Then they let their x-rays control their thinking with respect to their health. Suppose they have got something wrong with their x-rays. Now they will think of all the time 
those some abnormalities in their x-rays in their mind all the times and those abnormalities will give the same vibrations in their body and that will give the same result if you want to change that result you must think yourself of a healthy body wellness and perfect body and disease free body that will give you the vibrations of healthy mind and healthy body that will give you the different result from the previous one they let their present result in so far as relationships are concerned control their thinking in so far as the relationship goes now suppose they have something uh, not in speaking term with the, their spouse or relative or anybody else they will think of that all the time and that will give the vibrations of that uh, quarrel or uh, that uh, not in good terms with the, their spouses or uh, with their relatives or friends or anybody else. If you want to change that, you must feed your thoughts, generate your thoughts in your conscious mind of love, affection, brotherhood comradeship <coughs> and good words for others that will give you the vibrations of that that value that frequency and that will give you the results of that so if you want to change your results you must change your thoughts in your conscious mind that's very very important Our conscious mind is 10% and subconscious mind is 90%. It is just like an iceberg. Conscious mind is responsible for critical thinking, logical thinking, short term memory, willpower. The conscious mind tries to use willpower to control behavior, habits and beliefs, but loses out to the subconscious mind's greater influence and subconscious mind is 90 percent it controls beliefs creativity developmental stages emotions and feelings habits and addictions imagination intuition long-term memory protective reactions values but Hypnosis uses this part of the mind for change. Let's look at your mind and your paradigm. Whatever we think in our mind, we make a picture, make a diagram of that first. Only then we think of it. We have got the picture of our body physical body but we don't have the picture of mind how can we make others understand how the mind works so in 1934 dr thurman fleet was very involved in the healing arts and holistic health he stated i quote the mind is an activity not a thing no one has ever seen the mind in order to gain clarity and eliminate confusion I will create an image we can work with, unquote. So he gave a gave an image of the mind. He called it stick person. I'll give you that image in the next slide. Look at the areas of your life that your paradigm has enormous influence over. Your ability to earn money, your ability to get healthy well and all other things like perception use of time creativity effectiveness productivity and logic all these are affected by your paradigm this is that stick person and he made it the upper circle as a big circle as a head and the lower circle as body. Upper circle is divided into two with a psychic barrier. 
upper half is conscious mind and lower half is subconscious mind the conscious mind is a thinking mind it is educated mind it is intellect and it choose accept or reject any idea it likes or dislikes and all the thoughts originate from conscious mind on the other hand subconscious mind is emotional mind it must accept cannot determine the difference between that which is real or what is imaginated imagined so whatever we think and we generate the idea in our conscious mind that idea the subconscious mind must accept whether it is real or it is imagined it has got no difference whether it is imagined or it is real subconscious mind as you accept a thought it is impressed up on your subconscious mind it has to accept all whether real or imaginary this part of you functions in every cell of your body as a vibration this part of you operates in an orderly manner by law it expresses itself through you in feelings and actions of your body any thought you continuously impress upon your subconscious over and over again becomes fixed in your subconscious mind that becomes an habit fixed ideas will then continue to express themselves without any conscious assistance until they are replaced fixed ideas are more commonly called habits physical body the instrument of mind this is a servant of mind rather the thoughts are images that are consciously chosen and pressed upon your subconscious must move your body into action with the vibrations it gives the actions in which you are involved determine your results first the thoughts are created then feelings and actions and results are there to change results you have to change your thoughts in your conscious mind change your feelings and your actions otherwise this is a stick person of a child because a child doesn't have conscious mind up to the age of 7 and whatever you feed to the child it will accept it you can feed it from radio other people tv news papers and films and other people all the junk these days will be fed to the child and it will accept it and it will become its paradigm its habits and its sanskar in the path of future habits energy functions on frequency you are a mass of energy and you function as frequencies a frequency is a level of vibration there are an infinite number of frequencies the energy that's flowing into your consciousness has no form it is neither positive or negative i'll give you the example you listen to the radio suppose you have tuned in 98.8 tuner radio station in your radio and you will get the reality of voice or music from 98.8 now you shift your tuner to 104 now you get the reality of 104 radio station with music and reality where has gone the 98.8 voice and music it is there it is already there it was there and it is still there in the universe now again you if you will change to 98.8 you will still get that 98.8 reality in your radio it was already there and it was again there it has gone no but when you matched your frequency of your tuner of the radio with that frequency you got the reality it it happens with our bodies as well albert einstein says i quote everything is energy 
and that's all there is to it match the frequency of reality you want just you wanted the reality of 98.8 and you cannot help but generate reality you have generated the reality it can be no longer other way this is not philosophy this is physics albert einstein your thinking is using the higher faculties when you think you are using higher faculties your self consciousness uses the higher faculties and you get health happiness and wealth in response to it repetition the action of repeating something that has already been said or written you if you repeat it again and again that becomes your habit that becomes your paradigm and that is permanent with you it gives you success your success is 5% strategy and 95% mindset it is all about your mind it is all in awareness there is a marvelous inner world that exists within us and the revelation of such a world enables us to do to attain and achieve anything we desire within the bounds or limits of nature we were choosing our thoughts turn them turn them into ideas turn the ideas over to the emotional mind and the emotional mind controls the vibration which controls the action and give us the results that is the process the supernatural power gives us the thoughts in our conscious mind and those thoughts are impressed upon subconscious mind where the emotions are given and feelings are felt and that vibration goes to the physical body and physical body gives action and results but we are surrounded by all the negativity around us in social media other people netflix tv podcasts when those give us negativity we get the negative results when you think of negative you will get negative results when you think of positive you will get the positive results whatever you will think the results will be according to that it can't be anything different from that that's the law and that law is prosperity and success paradigm paradigm is a mental program that has almost exclusive control over our behave habitual behavior and almost all our behavior is habitual paradigms are habits these habits give us results through actions but without our thinking because these are reflex actions these are without the knowledge of our conscious brain conscious mind create the life you really want you can create the life you really want and then say no to everything that isn't that we have all gathered an abundance of knowledge covering numerous subjects from our cool college from our schools from our internet from our books however most of us learned very little of anything about paradigms because nobody has taught us about paradigms therefore we frequently do not do what we already know how to do we have got superior knowledge but we have got inferior results and those inferior results cause confusion and frustration in our life that's why we are roaming with our degrees in our hands and there is no job outside that's the pity cybernetics and paradigms cybernetics and paradigms are both control systems and operate essentially on the same principle 
both maintain a definite course of action and will not deviate from the course that has been established you must alter the paradigm if you desire to achieve improved results both companies and individuals have operating paradigms your self image works on like a cybernetics automatic pilot versus a cybernetic system a flight pattern is programmed into the plane's computer system when the plane goes off the course the cybernetic system mirror the deviation from the set goal and corrects the flight pattern the second the plane leaves the flight pattern the cybernetic system is activated and puts the planes back on the course this all happens automatically and nothing to do with the pilot let's look at the mind you have conscious and subconscious mind in your body your subconscious mind has a part of it as your self image as your paradigm and that controls your actions and controls your results automatically your self image is a cybernetic instrument you have taken a decision as to diet because you are having a weight of 100 kg you want to lower it down to 70 kg and you are you took a decision to diet but your mindset is having 100 kg here when you start deciding your weight to reduce with dieting you have started lowering your weight but you have not changed your mindset your paradigm is the same 100 kg here then this paradigm act as a cybernetic and it will correct it to the 100 kg again whatever you do your your strategy is not working because it is only 5% your 95% your mindset is working it again make it 200 kg corrects the course to 100 kg until and unless you change your paradigm you will never be successful in your reducing weight that's very very important when a person who is overweight goes on a diet without altering his self image any weight loss will be temporary the self image being a cybernetic instrument measures the deviation from the set goal and immediately corrects course the weight that ha- that was lost is found and the person comes to the previous position of his weight change is the key never change things by fighting the existing reality to change something build a new model that makes the existing model obsolete what is that now you want to change your self image of 100 kg you feed yourself with thoughts of 70 kg in your sub, in your conscious mind that will give you the idea of 70 kg in your mind and that will give you feelings and emotions of 70 kg and that will give you the paradigm of 70 kg when you repeatedly impress upon your 70 kg idea to the subconscious mind that paradigm will shift the Hundred kg paradigm obsolete. Then it will become obsolete. Previously, it will resist. But if you continuously impress upon seventy kg on your subconscious mind, it will make the hundred kg paradigm obsolete. What do you want? that is very important that is your goal that is your ambition that is your mindset whatever you want that becomes your desire and that desire you can achieve mental faculties 
Use these mental faculties to create the world you want. Never settle, little wonder, wall, wonder, wall. Your perception, imagination, will, memory, intuition, reason. All these are higher faculties, mental faculties. You don't use them. You will use only when you will think. If you won't think, you can't use this. That is important. But we are taking the help of these senses. These are working on very low frequencies. See, hear, smell, taste, touch. These give the image of our external world. These give the image of our objective world. We, these can't give us the image of our subjective world. That's important. These senses are with the animals also. That's why they can see their objective world only. They can't see their subjective world. So, to use our higher faculties, mental faculties, we can see our subjective world and we can think. It's, it is a gift to the human body only. Millionaire mindset. Mind, understanding the laws governing the mind is essential if you want to harmonize with the money frequency or health frequency. It is not who you are that holds you back. It is who you think you are not. Your limitations, your negativity, that is keeping you back. You don't know, but you know you will. Now, what is your present result? What you want to plan? What I think I can do? And what you fantasize? Your goals? What I want? What is your goal? What do you really want to do? That is your goal. That is your mindset. Stretch your goals higher and higher and higher. Kick your imagination into high gear. A type goals, you know how to do it. You control the flow of thought energy. Let it flow freely to and through you, improving everything with which it connects. To move to a much higher frequency of thought, you must first consent and then adapt to the ideas and feelings the new frequency represents. At the suggestion of a move, your paradigm will instantly put up a huge battle and it will continually fight you. You must take conscious control over the paradigm, remove and replace it with the new one. That is very, very important. Mindset. The moment your belief matches with any state, you fuse with it. And this union results in the activation and projection of its plots, plans, conditions and circumstances around you of the universe. This new state of consciousness, awareness becomes your home from which you view the world. You will be a changed man. It is your workshop and if you are observant, you will see outer reality shaping deep upon the model of your imagination. When you move to a higher frequency, you will be communicating with a world totally foreign to and beyond the reach of your five senses. Now you have used your higher faculties and those have started working on you. You, you will have a new world around you. Mindset. You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will sometimes connect in the future. You have to believe in yourself. That's very, very important. You are not to see forward. You are to see backward and connect the dots. And you believe in those that these dots will one day will give you the desired results. That's important, says Steve Jobs. Schools gave us valuable knowledge. However, schools never taught us how to alter our old paradigms because they never taught us this. Therefore, we frequently do not do what we already know to do. 
mindset will do the same for you the secret is mindset your goal becomes your mindset do just once what others say you can't do and you will never pay attention to their limitations again because once once you got the results you will never pay attention to their limitations again whatever they say you just do that and that will give you the results james r cook you must begin to think when you start thinking you will have a new world around you you are a perfect human being you are a unique creation of god your spiritual dna is perfect it requires no modification or improvement you are already perfect it is all knowing it is all powerful it is ever present it is real you the same soul is within you that is omnipresent omnipotent and everything you are having that believe in yourself you are a spiritual being you are intellectual being you are a physical being spirit is equal to frequency spirit is 100% evenly present in all places at the same time what is spirit spirit is frequency frequency is present in all the places as i have shown you in your radio that it was frequency was present anywhere in the world from wherever you tune in your radio station of that frequency that will catch and that will match and that will give you the reality so at, at all places at the same time at the same time it will be everywhere this is that picture now i have found that people move ahead according to their level of conscious awareness and we are going to see this i want you to build an image in your mind of lines these lines horizontal lines you might have seen this these here here yeah. here we are talking about model of cosmic consciousness cosmic consciousness is here self consciousness and simple consciousness here it's like lines on a pad they are just horizontal lines and this is a graph to explain levels of consciousness the people with the best attitudes are the same people who operate with a fairly high here level of conscious awareness think of it this way science and theology are the only points of reference you can go to in search of information with respect to your true potential both of these areas clearly indicate that nothing is either created or destroyed which would indicate all the knowledge there ever was or ever will be is 100% evenly present in all places at the same time in other words the way to fly an aeroplane has always been there the right brothers merely became aware of the principles governing flight edison merely developed a high, higher degree of awareness when he created the incandescent light bulb it was awareness that took us out of the caves and put us in the condominium now think an animal operates with a simple consciousness here with our senses only the animal knows and yet knows not they have senses they can see hear smell taste and touch they are aware of their objective world but not their subjective world the next level of consciousness is self consciousness that's where you and i operate we not only have sensory factors to deal with our objective world we have intellectual factors that will 
permit us to deal with our subjective world. Then you have the higher level that theology referred to as divine consciousness. Yeah, this is this one. Christ consciousness or possibly Krishna consciousness, depending upon your religious persuasions. Science might refer to this level of consciousness as cosmic consciousness. As a person raises their level of conscious awareness, it's expressed in their behavior and results. Now I'll give you the examples of this. If you have individuals who work for 50 or 100,000 a year are not necessarily working for 50 or 100,000 because that's what they want. They are working for 50 or 100,000 because they are not aware of how to earn 200 or 500,000 a year. You are quite capable of earning a million dollars a year if you develop the proper level of conscious awareness. People suffer from headaches because they are not aware of that. They can eliminate the headache. It's their head. They made it ache and they can make it stop also. This is your awareness only which, which can give you the results. Remember this. You are not a body. You live in a body. You are a spiritual being. Individuals with lower level of consciousness react to conditions or circumstances. Those with a higher level of awareness would respond. The higher level of consciousness, the greater the awareness of the laws of the nature that govern the universe. They know that the thought energy they send into the universe dictates what will return. To see a person with a very low level of conscious awareness is operating just above the animalistic consciousness. It's fight or flight. They react to everything. Now persons with a higher consciousness and you and I can raise our level of consciousness as a matter of fact, that's what this webinar does. Have you ever noticed the people that are way up there in so far as awareness, how calm and peaceful they are? Have you ever noticed that you are attracted to them? They have something about them that you admire and respect. It's their spiritual spark. It's in their eyes. It's in their movement. It's in their energy. It's in their attitude. This is all there. If you are having a higher conscious awareness, you are a saintly person. You have got a better attitude. And you are in a different world. You are not in this objective world. You are in this subjective world. You have you you see the inner world in you. This is again that theology says you are a non in a non physical body. This is your intellectual being. This is your physical being, and science also says that human beings are everything is energy and energy you can see it 11 million kilowatt hour per pound energy is there in the human body we send the aura around us and these are pictured with the curly uh, this uh, photography and now we see the example of water we take water as a physical being when we heat it it becomes into steam and that steam gives the vibration of astro vibrations and when steam is heated it becomes air and then it gives the etheric vibrations higher vibrations 
this we can't see with our eyes or with our senses from here and this is like that and in the air it goes to the higher frequencies and all this is energy water is energy steam is energy air is energy everything is energy most important idea comes to the conscious mind educated mind and it goes to the subconscious mind emotional universal mind and that gives the vibrations to the body and give it the actions and results mind and paradigm the change will be huge you must develop a beautiful image of yourself study gain a true understanding of your real potential when you know yourself you will do wonders law of compensation clearly states the amount of money you earn will always be in exact ratio to the need for what you do your ability to do it the difficulty there will be in replacing you focus on your ability to do it become a master at whatever you do <clears throat> mind my mind is a center of div divine operation the fuller expression and this means the production of something beyond what has gone before something entirely new not included in past experience though proceeding out of it by an orderly sequence of growth therefore since the divine cannot change its inherent nature it must operate in the same manner in me consequently in my special world of which i am the center it will move forward to produce new conditions always in advance of any that have gone before power supernatural power give us thoughts thoughts respond to the universe and universe reacts to it and give it the equal and opposite response and then thoughts press upon the subconscious mind gives feelings and feelings again respond to the universe and universe reacts to that with equal and opposite reaction and these feelings are the vibrations which are sent to the body that gives the actions and the results it means whole of the universe is at your beck and call if you have got the ideas and your paradigms in your <clears throat> mind and you have set the goals your goals will be uh, fructify if you have that and whole of the universe will work towards it to give it the plans the circumstances and conditions everything will be fulfilled with the with the uh, universe only and that will work towards you to attain that success so you make that goal and make that idea and make that paradigm in you and you will be successful thank you very much